Hey, what's up everyone? This is DCSG81 and welcome back to another Flashback Studio aka Maniple Hits Scalp Review. Okay, since you can see that I put my Tony Stark here so you can roughly guess what's inside this box. So it's the latest uh, Maniple uh, Battle Damage as you can see on the the dotted line uh dotted inks just like the uh, uh battle damage for the tom holland's one that i review you can see right here so this is the battle damage for this tony stark mark 4 head which looks very very good so let's take a look into what's inside okay so from what i can see here it comes with five little packaging of course it comes with a head which i will show you guys in detail later then it comes with a neck which have the uh, part of the Iron Man armor on it and then it have a full human neck and also there's uh, this extension like a rubber extension for the heads yep and lastly there's a blue tag okay so let's take a look at the heads this is the uh, better damage one you can see there are some bloods here which is looking very very good because uh, as compared to the Tom Holland one he he's not just having a few droplets of blood he's actually having a very bad scar there with the blood stripping down so it's looking very good except that for this part it's like he's completely fine so it will be looking much better if they at least have some blue, blue black here or some dirt here to look like he is really injured. Okay, but this this injury part really looking very very good. Okay, so this head is actually the uh, young version of this one. I mean, it's the it's the same scalp. Let me take off the uh, edit glass. That's from Nota Studio, by the way. Okay, so you can see it's basically the same head. Except for this is the better damage one. And um, so let's try to fit it on some of the uh, Iron Man armor. Okay, so you can see that I have lined up all my Iron Man here like a beauty pigeons. <laughs> so I have the Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 5, Mark 6. Mark 7, Mark 43, 45, and Mark 46. So I think I'm missing Mark 47, which is from the Spider Man Homecoming versions. Yep, so I'm going to try the uh, head scalp, the better damage one, on all of them right now. Okay, so as you can see, I have removed all their heads, and before I get started to do on the head scalp, I would like to say that. For their necks, except for Mark 4, which can be removed because Mark 4 comes with an uh, alternate head on its own, so the neck is very easily removed and it's supposed to be removed anyway when you use the Tony Stark heads. The rest of the armor, their neck are not meant to be removed because they don't come with any unmasked head of Tony Stark. So, um, that, that is why I'm not removing any of my neck. I'm just going to say this once and for all. Uh, I know many of you would comment that ask me to actually try the uh, the neck on uh, on the other figures, but I'm not going to do that because just now I have actually tried to remove which figure one of the armor neck and um, it does come off. But I I try very hard and then when I try to put this on, it doesn't really fit. So I can't say that it won't fit on all of them, maybe it can, I don't know, but the ones that I remove, it doesn't fit, and when I put it back, it's pretty hard to push it back. So I don't want to take the risk anymore, because it might break the, the, the ball joint inside, and also we might scratch the armor. So um, this is just my opinion, if you have the armor, and if you buy this uh, head, and you want to try it by removing the neck, uh, by all means, do it at your own risk okay so for me i don't want to break anything because as you know these iron man's aren't cheap so yeah so i'm going to make this clear okay so with that out of the way so let's get 
started to try on the uh, Mark II first. This is one of my favorite armor, and then it works. Okay, it fits right in, so it works pretty well. Because as you can see, okay, so that's for Mark II. Sorry about that, and for Mark III. Okay, it works as well, pretty good. Do remember that there isn't any joint or any ball joint, so it, it just slot it in. It will still drop if you you know turn it over. If you want it to be stable, you just use some blue tag on it. Okay, that's why they given us some blue tag. Okay, this is for Mark Four. Of course, very sure it will work because I just used the other head. Okay. So this neck itself is the one that comes with the um, maniple. The reason why I already have it on because it's actually from this clean heads. Okay, so it works perfectly fine. Okay, and then we will have the uh, Mark Five. Actually, they say that this head is more to for the Mark Five because. Uh, for some reason it just looks very good and it doesn't really fit as you can see okay so there is one way to make it fit is that you just tear it over yeah okay I'll do it again you can't go straight in so you just tear it over just some work around and then it, it just looks like it works okay and it looks very very good Okay, that's for Mark 5 and let's see for Mark 6 okay very similar to Mark 5 that you will have to tilt the neck over a bit and then it will it doesn't really fit in well I think this one you will need some blue tag to make it fit okay Okay, and then it's for Mark 7. Okay, for Mark 7, it fits pretty well. Okay. And right up next is for Mark 43 from Age of Ultron. Oh yeah, I'm missing Mark 42 as well. That's from Iron Man 3. Almost forgotten about that. Okay, uh, for Mark 43, it doesn't really fit. And when I try to use the other method, it doesn't fit as well. So this one will definitely need to have some blue tag for it to just stick on it. Okay. And then we have the Mark 45 from Age of Ultron as well. And again, this one doesn't seem to work either way. Yep, same like Mark 43, 8 bit. Yeah, doesn't really work. You need to have blue tag, same like Mark 43. And this is for Mark 46, the last one. This is from Civil War. Hmm, yep, doesn't really fit as well not good okay not looking good even with the different method it doesn't fit you can still have some blue tag on it still looks good but it doesn't really fit like the other armors okay so that's it guys um it's it uh it can work for the all the armors it's just a matter of whether you you can just slot it in or whether you need to use some blue tag to have it stick on it okay Otherwise, in terms of scale, it works fine for all the armors. And I know that all of you want me to try on the Mark 50 as well as Mark 85. Just give me a moment. Okay, so I have it here is the Mark 50 from Nano Weapon Set 2 and also the Mark 85. Both are headless already. <laughs> so let's try on Mark 50 and doesn't look so good because of the neck. Uh, yep, you have to push in real hard. Just hope that it won't scratch the neck. 
the pin. Okay. So it looks okay though. Yep. Looking pretty good. And let's see with mark 85. Yep. Perfect. So it fits pretty well on mark 85. Okay. Except that uh it's supposed to be the older version which I actually prefer to have this one instead. This is the, the another one from Manipole. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that's about it for all the fittings on the Iron Man armors. And um, we can start on trying for the Tony Stark instead. Okay, so for Tony Stark body, I only have these three. This is the original SH3 Guards um, Tony Stark from Iron Man 3. This is the Mayfax Kingsman from Harry Hart. And this is the Figma Goro body. Okay, so let's try on the um, SH3 Guards one. This will work because um, you can actually replace with the neck from the uh, maniple, which is... Uh, let me see, which is this one right here. So I'm not sure whether this one is the original neck from SH3 Guards or I've already uh, changed it to the Mayfax ones. I don't remember because they look almost identical. And then for this neck, you need to use the extra rubber that comes with it. So I just put it on. Okay, that it will works perfectly. Okay. Okay. So the next one is the uh, Kingsman one, which will book, which will works as well because I have already changed the neck to the Maniples one. I need to remove the piece first. Sorry. Yep. So I already changed the neck. This is actually the neck from the uh, Maniple that clean Tony Stark. Hey, this one. Okay, I actually bought two. So I have one on this body and another one on Mark Four. So this will work perfectly because it's the neck from Manipur anyway. Okay. And lastly, this is from Figma. So let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, but there are some skin tone problem. And the neck just looks a little... Okay, you can push it down. So it will look perfectly as well. Except that he's too tall. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. I have um, do the uh, head swapping testing on every body of the Iron Man armor that I have as well as the Tony Star. So um, again, many people have not failed to amaze me so far. they has been doing quite a great job. So um, if you guys like this, I am strongly recommending you to get it. Um, of course, if you, you are not the type of person who likes the better damage you can get the, uh, the normal one okay and all these are still available for order at 16kit.com you can actually get it from there they're actually uh, being recommended by many people itself that uh, 16kit is carrying their product officially so if you want to get it buy from 16kit and don't don't buy from the ebay because there are just too many bootlegs in ebay okay so uh yep that's all for this review of the uh, battle damage head sculpt for tony stark and uh hope you like this uh review plus head swapping uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this and of course you can always leave me a comment if you have any further question about it and also subscribe to my channel if you like my content so far until then i'll speak to you real soon bye